Steve Mignani here for Astor Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event. This is item number 258, a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda Fastback. By far the most desirable body style, if you ask me. Convertibles are cool, but in 67, they got the Fastback body down, and these are beautiful cars, especially for folks who like to build Hemi Barracuda replicas, super stock cars. Okay, under the hood here, we find, okay, the basic D-code 273 two-barrel engine, 180 horsepower. And again, this is, uh, yeah, the two-barrel carburetor. Uh, factory air conditioning car. Does have the front uh, dual circuit drum brakes. First year for 60, 67, first year for dual circuit brakes. Manual steering. And it's nice to see here, the, the trim tag is present and accounted for, which tells us all the codes and the paint numbers and all that good stuff seen here with the car. Uh, best of all, the inner fenders are rock solid. These things ordinarily have big old holes with rust everywhere. The only rust I see is the battery tray, which is typical. The acid eats that up, but underneath it, rock solid. And these trays you can buy and get reproductions, and that's no big deal. The grill is quite nice, with the exception of this side has been bonked probably back in 1972, who knows what, but again, just a dent. Front bumper is in beautiful condition. Front valance is pretty decent, too. Let's move down the driver's side of the car with our magnet and just make sure that things are as good as they look. Little dent there, no big deal. Rust-free, solid metal all the way down here. That's beautiful. Magnet sticks like crazy. Here's the V8 logo for the 273 two-barrel base motor. Rockers are very, very, very nice. No bubbles, no rust, no anything. That's beautiful. Bottom of the door is also awesome, wonderful. This is the original rose metallic paint on this one. And I can open the door. Let's take a peek inside. This is, oh, cool, okay. Column shifted automatic. The uh, console was an option, but that's the base column automatic. Bucket seats, of course, standard equipment. The center console is tucked down by the passenger's footwell, but that is a factory item. Uh, parking brake, the, tr the floors look to be pretty nice. Let me stomp on that a little bit and see what we got. Yeah, that's rock solid. Carpet's original, and uh, moving along to the quarter. Beautiful, rock solid, no rust at all. And again, the flanks are pretty nice. Minor scars here, but again, not a big deal at all. Up here on the roof and the B pillars, we see what we call the Texas suntan. That's not rust in my book. Dual action sander, prime it, paint it, you're good. Quarter panel down low. A little bit of bubbling here. Okay, a little bit of perforation, but again, the magnet sticks. So the good news is this is first generation rust. It's not plastic, it's not filler. Nobody's been in here trying to cover that up. That's honest. There are patch panels readily available. Around the back, rear bumper is in nice shape. Add on trailer hitch. Look at this, the trunk panel, that is pristine. These things are always banged up or missing. Fantastic to see that looking as good as it does. The trunk lid is very nice. Again, original paint, that rose metallic, beautiful. A little sunburn or suntan up here, no big deal at all. The rear quarter on the uh, passenger side. Again, a little bit of bubbling right here. But again, the magnet sticks, so that is honest factory <laughs> factory rust. I don't even want to call it that, but basically that's not putty. Nobody's been in here trying to hide anything. This is very original. Quarter panel lip is beautiful. Flange is nice all the way up. 14 inch small bolt pattern wheel on this, of course, probably a seven and a quarter rear axle in there. Six cylinder and small block V8 type stuff. Down here, very nice, no corrosion, no putty, all very honest metal. Passenger side door does not want to open, but that's okay. The door is smooth, a little bit of a dent right there, but no rust. Same with the rocker panel. Nothing happening here in the way of rust. That's wonderful. This fender is very rust-free, beautiful. A little dent right there, once again, a long time ago. A little bit of rust around it, the surface stuff, but again, not, uh, not an issue. I would almost fix that. I would not replace this fender. I'd fix that and keep the fender because it's very, very nice. So that's the story of item number 258, a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda Fastback. What a fantastic Hemi Superstock clone this is ready to become. Bid accordingly.